Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the week of March 8th through the 14th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Keep in mind the timing is fluid. One card, please. Wow, that's wonderful. Uh, yeah, storm warning. Storm warning. Looks like there's a storm rolling in. Tornado. Oh, <laughs> it looks like tornado watch, right? Uh, there's probably going to be a completion in your life. Something may be washed out, maybe taken out. Uh, it's 10. Okay, so that is a major completion of some sort. I mean, you see something like this, it almost feels like it's a tower moment. Okay, you may be having an event that comes in and uh, wipes something away. Okay, something gets wiped out of your life or cleaned out of your life. You may not even see it coming. So I do believe that there is going to be, you know, I mean, there could be uh, a wipe out or something like that. Something is happening, okay? It's coming out of nowhere. You probably won't get any notice that it's coming. You may, you may or may not. Whatever is happening, um, beware, okay? Get prepared, okay? You may want to get prepared for it if, if you can. Um, I don't know. We'll see. There's definitely going to be an event. Um, yeah. So what do we have? These cards are too big. What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? One card, please. Judgment. Judgment. So judgment is a card of absolution. Okay, it is. It's absolution. It's the end of things. Making a judgment call. You may be making a judgment call this week. This is also a card of karma. So, um, judgment. Making a judgment call. You may have to leave a situation, and you may have to leave the situation pretty quickly by the looks of things. It's like you don't need to get involved in this. So I feel like there's something happening where you probably need to walk away and not get yourself involved. You notice somebody is walking away. These people are partying. You know, they're having fun. They may be going overboard, and you probably... Uh, need to remove yourself from the situation. It may be hard. Maybe that's why this is happening. Maybe maybe you've been having a hard time removing yourself from a situation. Uh, judgment is a life-changing decision. So this is the end of things. Okay, so you've been in a situation where there's been some sort of uh, trial, right? This is all coming to an end. Something is coming to an end this week. Be prepared. Get prepared. I think you need to get prepared for an ending. Judgment is two tens, and we got a ten here. So this is something that's ending in your life. Okay, this is a major completion. Uh, some sort of truth is going to come out as well. So if somebody has been hiding behind a wall or they've been lying or whatever, the truth is definitely coming out. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. Uh, but I really feel as though you need to get prepared. Six of Wands. Six of Wands reverse. Now, this is lack of victory, lack of progress. Um, something isn't progressing the way that it should. There is an abuse of power here with the Six of Wands reversed. It feels like somebody has abused their power. Um, this is losing a battle. So I don't know if there's a court battle that somebody is losing. It doesn't have to be you. Or somebody is losing something with the Six of Wands reversed. There's no staying power. This is a fail. So this is this is like a one-hit wonder that is very prideful and smug. That doesn't follow through with their plans. There could be a setback here. Something is happening. Something is definitely happening. Um, you may be telling somebody no. You may be saying nope. And that could cause... You know, problem. People don't like to hear the word no. Judgment is also a card of consequences. It really is. So I do believe that uh, somebody could be told no and there could be some consequences. Um, definitely not going in the right direction. So I do believe that there's going to be 
I don't know, when you see lightning, when it, that is a very sudden situation, some, it could be a, a uproar. I, somebody could get really upset over a judgment call that is made. I really feel like for some of you, you're definitely dealing with a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. But this is like a nope. It's like a nope, I'm, I'm not, you know, no. You may be receiving some unwelcome news this week, okay? Ah, ye. Could we also be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer? Okay, we definitely have water here. Um, but anyhow, all is not as it seems. All is not as it seems. There is something below the surface that is bubbling. It's cooking right now, and you really need to get prepared. This is beware. Beware. You could be dealing with somebody that has some mental imbalances, okay? And they have some sort of addictions. And they get really upset when they get told no. I feel like no is part of this. Um, I think that you really need to proceed with caution this week. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. I feel like there's some unseen problems that are coming with somebody that you are dealing with. This person, I feel like this person is in a dark place. I was gonna say darkness, I was gonna say, oh, that's dark, but this is a dark place as well. So I think that you're dealing with somebody that is in a period of darkness. I honestly, I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's somebody that you're dealing with. And um, I feel like you need to listen to your, your gut um, and you need to look deep at a situation. Look below the surface. There is somebody around you that may explode at a moment's notice. You Maybe you haven't seen it. You know, I think that you, you need to be really, really careful. You're dealing with somebody that is very cocky and smug. You are that six of wands reverse. This person doesn't follow through with their plans. They may like to fight. You know, this is somebody that gets really upset when they don't get their way. So I, I feel like you, you're dealing with, uh, you're going to be dealing with somebody that cannot control their emotions and they may explode at you. And I'm sorry to say that. And if it's not a person, oh, I think it is a person. I do think it is a person. I think it is somebody that isn't very noble. This person uh, probably doesn't respect, doesn't have a lot of respect for others or doesn't receive respect for others, others and therefore they, um, they have a big ego. I do feel like you're dealing with somebody that has a big ego and it feels like they're going to get a blow to their ego and they're going to blow up on you. All is not as it seems, definitely. Maybe they're mad because you've walked away from them. Something like that. They're really upset. Ooh, two cards. The hangman reverse and the fool. Now we have a lot of majors here. We got we got uh, six cards, and I would say five of them are majors. So this is universally driven. This is out of your hands. The universe is driving a completion in your life. They are there. This is this is the end of a situation, okay? And it, I feel like it's going to be a struggle. This and it's been a struggle to let go of something, because this is needing to let go, but struggling not to, having a hard time letting go. You do have a fresh start here, a new beginning, um, going in a new direction. But this is gaining a new perspective, breaking free. You know, when you get the hangman, this is refusing to go in, struggling to let go, obsessed with control, not learning a lesson, hiding something, egotism. There is somebody here that in your reading that is very egotistical that may not want you to walk away. They may not want to let you go. They may want to punish you. This could be punishment. It definitely could. This is somebody that will not change, that, that does not want to let go. And I feel like you have let go of them and I feel like they're upset. And I feel like they are really, really, really upset. They probably wanted a new beginning with you or wanted to start over with you or something like that. Um, this is a missed opportunity. It's a missed opportunity and I feel like I feel like uh, you you're gonna need you're gonna have to release this person. You're gonna have to release this person. You may have to move. Okay, I'm not sure, but that hang me. I mean, the fool card is a fresh start, stepping into new territory, going someplace else, leaving it all behind, uh, starting from scratch. So I do believe that. Uh, 
you're going to be making a judgment call or a judgment call is going to be made. Could be from the law. Okay. This could be a court that is making a decision, a, a, a life changing decision. Is, it could be the universe because we have a lot of majors. I mean, you get all these majors, it's the universe that is driving a change. This is the universe's plan. Okay. Uh, I would say that uh, you need to be prepared for anything. Expect the unexpected. You have somebody here that is upset. This person is cocky. They probably have a mental imbalance. They are in a deep, dark place. And I feel like they don't want to let you go in some way. Or they want some sort of power and control over you. And I feel like you've, you have I feel like you have moved away from the situation. And they're mad. They're upset. So anyhow, I feel like this is somebody that, that takes risks. And I feel like they are... I feel like they're... They, it almost feels like there's... They want to punish you. It feels like there's, they want to punish you. Um, and I'm sorry to say that. I hope that's not the case. But anyhow, um, this is movement. Spur of the moment. Spur of the moment. So there's something happening. It could happen very fast. Very, And this is suddenly. And this is suddenly. So I, I think that you need to, uh, you know watch over your shoulder and I don't like I'm not trying to scare anybody but the moon card and if you when a tornado comes that's scary shit okay and the moon is, is is scary okay you can't see you may not see it coming you know when it's when you may not see it so anyway all is not as it seems you I think that you have somebody here that is in their ego and they're struggling to let go of you. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe the laws get involved. Whether it's the universal law or something like that. I feel like the law is getting involved. Okay. Um, three of wands. You know what three of wands means? Get prepared. Get prepared for an arrival. Get prepared. Something is coming. Okay? Get prepared. I mean, what more can I say? Keep your eyes open. There is somebody here that is very prideful. They are very, very prideful. This person doesn't appear to have any fear. Okay, they don't they don't care who's in the way. Okay, they they are they've had a blow to their ego. They have. And they may want to fight. You think about the six of wands, what comes before the six of wands, the five of wands. The six of wands is reverse. Somebody has lost something. They didn't win. And when they don't when people don't win, their ego gets that blow. They've been rejected in some way. So I think this this rejection is causing, you know, an uh, outburst of some sort. One more card. Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is a get-together, a celebration. It is friendship. It's socializing, um, dating. I'm not sure if you've met this person dating or socializing on social media or a dating site. Somebody's about to get a wake-up call. They are about to get a huge wake-up call. It may be a friend, maybe one of your, somebody that you thought was your friend that you have gotten together with. There could be a third party situation here. Somebody's really upset over a third party situation. Whoever you're dealing with is going to be acting on impulse, okay? They don't have any fear. They do not have any fear. Ten of Swords reversed. 
now the ten of swords reversed is uh this is the worst that has happened this is something coming back from the dead right there's recovery problems there could be worse to come this is beyond help chronic health problems you know the ten of swords reverse is it you know we have somebody here that's really 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 suffering and they're hurt they're hurt over rejection or not not being chosen And I, you know, this is like a near death experience may or may not survive with, you know, this person may feel like they're not going to survive. They may be publicly embarrassed because this is about public recognition. This is like a disgrace in reverse. Okay. They may be embarrassed over something that didn't work out. And, you know, um, now they're ready to fight. There is, I feel like. I feel like you need to really defend yourself this week. You're going to be in a tough position. You are definitely going to be in a tough position this week. You're going to need to stand your ground. You're going to need to, to uh, protect yourself by the looks of things and I'm not trying to scare you I'm giving you a message this is a warning and with the moon card and that storm warning this is a warning there could be some competition here you know maybe maybe uh you know, somebody is upset that you haven't chosen them and, and this is this is about competition a stiff competition and you could be caught off guard I would say that you should watch him back and I'm sorry this person is obviously upset that they were that you've walked away that they've lost power over you in some way that you've said no I'm sorry good luck